So, huh. yeah, we found the manager. Appreciate the help. I, I also want to say I think the, the the restaurant we found the manager at is a real sushi restaurant. No. What went down around 9th? So when are we going? December 3rd. Huh? When are we going? Well, uh, Captain Hamura brought that Kansai <laughs> Punk Kume in here. What? When are we going? Oh, oh um... <laughs> Were there any other I, customers here at the know, time? I don't actually know if the, that r restaurant has a presence outside of Japan. They're called Sushi Zanmai, and I, I, I found out the girls home too. a couple hours ago, actually, that Once they did a promotion for Yakuza 5. Guys just laid into I don't remember the details of the promotion, because I only looked at the headline, but... You didn't hear that from me. It's a real place. You're good. Look, all I'm saying is I'm ready to yeah, buy tickets right to Japan 10, anytime you want. Kind of weird happened. I just need to know. Hamura kicked everyone out of the club. Even me. Yeah, I'd, I want to go back. And the uh, only ones left inside were Hamura and Kume. <sighs> yep. I think there's one in Colorado if we want to stay in North America. All right, road trip. Let's go. Men, <laughs> to have a chat alone. At least that's how he worded it. And that didn't seem weird to anyone? Oh, the Matsugane boys had plenty to say about it. <sighs> but if the boss tells you to leave, you get the heck out. No clue what went down in the club after Anyway, that. this guy is corroborating Hamura's story. It's the problem with authority. Tell me about so the So let's find out more. Back. The broken one. Oh, that? How long's it been like that? For about a month. Some drunk asshole chucked a rock. <sighs> Cracked it right open. It was just for show, though. Never actually worked in the first place. Not much use to me, then. Why even have it there if it was just for show? Because it's a deterrent. It's like Cops came by idiots me. hanging up firearms on the wall. Yeah. Uh, I you guess. Know, in their it... living room, specifically where the window is. What did you uh, tell him? Fine, I guess you're right. Not a whole lot. Same stuff I told you. <sighs> Forensics was tearing this place apart. Trying to find bloodstains from Kume. You know, with that luminol stuff. I thought I'd wiped all that up before they got here, but that sure was a waste. Doesn't doesn't that Turns count as a clean up than tampering the crime scene? Now they're convinced the murder Shh. happened here. Was there that much blood? Before you wiped it up, I mean. <laughs> no, not really. I told you, they barely even made Kume bleed. Yeah, so guy got off super time. easy. Don't even know why he's complaining. No. Uh, he's <laughs> dead. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, he's not complaining at all. While the Matsugane tore into Kume? What do you mean? What else could I have done? Called the cops on Damn, them. I was about to say that too. Especially good for business. <laughs> Nor is a dead body in your club. Come on. They'd have killed me. Remember, this club is a Matsugane joint. And frankly, it didn't look like they were hurting him too bad. If anything, <laughs> I know from easy. experience. <laughs> Meaning what? <laughs> like just smacking him around a bit. You know, nothing too serious. Once in a while they'd hit him a little harder to make him bleed, I guess. Well, thanks. This is a huge help. We done here? <laughs> I'm about to leave, asshole. Don't you understand social cues? All right. Well, let, let's let's get out of here then. Man, I can't believe that guy survived. You know, a couple titty twisters, <laughs> and then they made him bleed by like. Hey, man. Where are you? Lightly cutting him. Club called Amor over on Supon Street. Amor. Isn't that one of the Matsugane joints? Yep. Hamura and the victim were apparently alone in here the night of the murder. Anyway, need to. And they really gave it to him after they, they force fed him a hot dumpling. What's up? <laughs> uh, <laughs> he burned his tongue. You, get here. you know, that actually is an EX action in, uh. Well, not that specifically, but something very similar is an EX action in this game. And well, a heat move in Yakuza 6 and Kiwami 2. Look, <laughs> we've been over this. I'm a writer. <laughs> so, um, before we go on, I there's something I wanted to check out over here. So, um, if we just go over to the batting cages and go through the side door, there's with, another poster with a QR code. With all the broken glass on it. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened here. Oh, should we say, should we mention how uh, I desperately attempted to get a QR code to work and they just don't, and I'm really sad about it? 
uh, yeah, let's mention that. So, uh, go ahead. You have the floor. <laughs> All right. So I definitely tried to scan those QR codes to see if they'd work, and they didn't. I was really <laughs> sad about it. Okay. Also, these crane, those those uh, UFO catchers there don't actually work. So, uh, yeah, that made me very sad when I realized in Yakuza 6 that you could not play the crane game there. I don't think they actually had the crane game in Yakuza 6 at all, now that I'm thinking about it. Missed potential. It is there in Kiwami 2 onwards, though, so don't worry. At some point in this LP, we will go play the crane game. I'm still excited for Pinball. Yeah, we'll play that, too. It's fucking weird, but we'll play it. What the? Why is she here? How about you ask her yourself, Romeo? You ate my lunch last time. Good to see you, Yagami-kun. So this is Mafu. She is, uh... Yagami's kinda, sorta ex, but not really? You think? And before you ask, she's not here to win your heart again. Win my heart again? Hold on a minute. Let's make one thing... I gave her my heart. Dated. And then she stepped on it. Guess I misspoke. <laughs> Don't sue. She's also a prosecutor. <laughs> right, you gotta watch how you say that word, buddy. <clears throat> I'm here on business. I, I said the correct word. Obvious. Prosecutor. Business? <laughs> The prosecutor's office is pressing murder charges against Kyohei Ham um, of the Matsugane family. Mafia is a weird character We're because involved. I'm not entirely uh, sure what role she has in the story. Fast. Nothing that happens. Uh, love interest. Uh. Right, Sorry, but there's a system in this game that huh? kind of precludes no. her love interest role back. from actually going anywhere. Since you were kids, right? Yep. But we'll we'll get to that uh, chapter oh, three choice. or so. They only just arrested him. Apparently, the prosecutor's had his eye on Hamura for a while now. He's just been lying in wait for the perfect moment to strike. And this prosecutor is? I mean, I guess she's our Izumi. main contact in the uh, prosecutor's Someone office, which him. gets us a lot of info. I've seen that guy since the whole not guilty verdict, huh, talk? Yep. He's probably still sore about it. Too bad Shintani's gonna be the one in charge of the case and not me. You're really never becoming a lawyer again, are you? Why would you like that? I want to talk. Just like how you like stomping on my heart. Since they asked me the same <laughs> question. I see. Does the prosecution have any work for me? I'd be glad to cut you a discount. You know what, Yagami-kun? Hmm? This detective business really doesn't suit you. I thought she was going to say, it felt good to stomp on your heart. <laughs> Couldn't she have just called? Think she went through the trouble for a reason? Maybe you? It's uh, getting dark out. I should walk her back. A uh, little micro earthquake there. Just a little bit. <laughs> Only affects doors. <laughs> All right, let's uh let's track her down. She couldn't have gotten far. It clearly says chase after her. He's going to catch up with her and be like, I wanted to give you a second chance at killing all feeling and emotion I have for women. I, it, it wasn't that extreme. They just never really... Not so fast. I guess made it that far. <laughs> Chief Prosecutor. And then Yagami got disbarred. No, he didn't get disbarred. He just well, I was going through a lot at the time. It was him, not her. That's so sweet. Well then, I apologize for my forcefulness. I can crush some in blocks with my hands. <laughs> you are lucky. <laughs> sure. This is Chief Prosecutor Morida. And, um, you already It's like know. an Asian Mr. X. A little bit, yeah. Long time no see. Young. If only he was like a foot taller. <laughs> Courtroom just hasn't been the same without you around. Damn near breaks my heart. <laughs> I keep thinking that guy has a nose ring. 
It does look like he has a nose <laughs> ring with that lighting. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Izumita was the guy Yagami faced off against in the trial so where he got Okubo on. off of, uh... That no, murder charge? Handling it. I'm just collecting evidence. And... The fact... Looks like okay, Yagami so first off, the fact that Yagami got... Later. Won that case already made Izumita look pretty I bad. But then the fact that... Okubo now Okubo's public reputation got shot to hell and back th that same night I because, because I was up against you know he was put you shut your damn or, uh, he was a uh, he murdered his girlfriend shit yeah. logic. that makes him look even worse Bars. an innocent girl died because of you Tell so me yeah I'm pretty sure Izumita has a massive on, chip on his shoulder from Yagami everything. that's enough Izumita it's okay Izumita-san uh, thanks for thinking of me, Yagami-kun. Farewell. I love you. Damn it. <laughs> hey, Yagami, uh, I, I wanted to walk you home. The end of that. <laughs> Not now, Kaito-san. My bad, my bad. Thanks, Kaito, but you just walked out of my home. What do we do about the case. Mafu, you said they're already pressing charges. We should go to Genda's. Let Shintani know what's going on. I want you there too. Got it. I need a shoulder to cry on. <laughs> what is it now? And you're the perfect height. Just uh, take a breather, huh? Count to ten or something. Your shiny polyester shirt will make a great uh, hanky. <laughs> it's so absorbent. <laughs> Yet stylish. Ah. So, uh, before we go off to Genda's, um, Tsukumo has a thing he wants us to go grab for him. Every, every now and again, you'll be texted by, uh, one of your friends. And, uh, they, they represent that via this little chat interface that is not too dissimilar from, um, the actual app, chat app line. Yeah, I thought you were going to say it's not too dissimilar from real life, and I was going to immediate counter with, like, nobody ever replies that quickly to me, so... Oh, yeah, I, no, that's totally believe, not realistic. I, can't, I cannot believe it's real. So, uh, yeah, we, he wants, uh... He wants this anime figure that someone sold at the pawn shop. I'm also buying the set of darts. And a couple of thin wires. We'll see what the wires are for later, though. Uh, lock picking? Yes, actually. Yeah, come on. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's go give this to Tsukumo then. That was um, incidentally, this little this little chunk of gameplay here is our introduction to the friend system. It's kind of like what they had in Yakuza 0, where you could make friends with a couple of random people on the streets. Uh, it's just that this time, they're they're not their own, you know, uh, sub-stories. Right. They're, they're their own individual events. Um, Guess we're doing this. I think I was trying to find the dude so I could uh, lead him near a shop, because I wanted to show off uh, a really fun Easter egg. At least I think that's what I'm doing here. I thought this was just a really clever way of clearing out the streets so that only the quest guy would stay. And yeah, Sukumo's that... not gonna leave. <laughs> it would be that much easier to see him. <laughs> Damn, that glass is sturdy. <laughs> you know there's a lot of street fights when all the glass is bulletproof. <laughs> you were saying? Eh, uh, you know, you're just really strong. Stay down. So, uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna throw this dude into the Smile Burger. You know, Smile Burger sounds pretty good right now. I'd like three Smile Burgers, please. Oh, I guess we can't get a Smile Burger because we've caused trouble in the shop. Oops. What trouble? <laughs> <laughs> I don't so, see anybody here. <laughs> yeah, but they they now they don't have a window anymore. It's, it's easier to get in. <laughs> so yeah, um. If you destroy a shop's windows or anything it, during combat, the uh, the people working the shop will not serve you for a little while. 
Man, that sucks. When I do that in real life, I get banned for life. <laughs> it's okay. Once uh once they they repair the shop and like maybe a day passes, you'll you'll be fine. Do you know how awkward it is to have to go in to like your local Harvey's with a V for Vendetta mask? <laughs> Incredibly. Yeah. Um I do, doing that is actually a trophy in Yakuza 6, but sadly, only in Yakuza 6. So uh, if, if for some reason you are playing Yakuza 6 while watching this LP, and you haven't done that yet, go fuck up a popo or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think you can, like, shower or something? <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know if I pointed out, but there are actually showers at, Yeah. I think, this Mantai? Yeah, we've seen them. Okay. And the smoking area. Right, right. <laughs> so yeah, now uh, we have affirmed our friendship with Tsukumo. So sometimes we'll get an item from our friends when we pay him a visit. Um, and yeah. You can make up to 50 friends in this game. Jeez. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, the more friends you have, the better your reputation is, and the more, uh, things you'll unlock. To put it lightly, I suppose. Man, I wish that worked in real life. Right? So let's go for a smoke break and leave the door open. That's how that works, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Look, there's a reason there's so many fans in those PCs. <laughs> So when when you're taking a smoke break, you can uh, listen in on conversations other people are having. Apparently, these guys were watching a cam show and a stalker broke into that. The uh, their uh, I don't know how I would describe this. You their know shows what? Let's, let's just not. <laughs> how dare you, Yagami? <laughs> So yeah, we're just gonna go to this hotel like right around the corner from Theater Square. Excuse me. Because there's a friend we can make here. Is it Magic Johnson? No. Damn it. This oh lady's my having god. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, what happened to your soul and why has it been sucked out? <laughs> he's uh he's been hanging out a lot with uh Steven Spinning, I think. <laughs> Anyway, uh, this dude is a tourist, and this lady does not know nearly enough English to, uh, to help with this. You can tell he's an American, because he doesn't have a translation book with him. Hmm. Which you'd think right. would be, like, the first thing you'd have. I, you, you know, you're not wrong. When I was in Japan, I did have a trans- or, like, a, a quick, you know, yeah. uh, pocket book. Yeah, phrase But book. we never actually- we never actually brought it anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you can make friends with a lot of different people uh you can make friends with like basically every shopkeeper in the town um among other people so does that mean that there are more friends that you could make than the number of friends you can have no okay 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 no, um, you, you, there, there is no upper limit aside from, you know, the actual number of friends they put in. Okay, but the number of friends is more than the 50 limit. No, no, there are 50. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is, it, it, it's a lot of people. It's just such, like, a round number that I, <laughs> you know. It, it, it feels arbitrary, yeah. So, uh, before we go and move on to her next event, I, I wanted to actually look around the hotel, see if I could find the lavatory. Just because, uh, because, uh, I did not remember seeing one in all the times I would actually play through and walked around this building. I knew you'd try to break my immersion. Yeah, there's no restroom in here. Are you sure about that? Uh, there's not one upstairs either. Are you sure the elevator doesn't have a, a restroom button? Does it go straight to the restroom? <laughs> 
Man, that'd be annoying if you had to take a bathroom or a, an elevator to hit the restroom every time. Look, it, it works out for everybody because they have to spend, hmm? the workers here spend more time, you know, away. <laughs> Better for breaks and stuff. Anyway, uh, if we leave and come back sometime later, uh, we'll advance her event. And she'll, um, she'll talk to us basically about her interactions with English tourists. Um, hmm. They kept saying Retsu Pure. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, she, she asked someone if she could hold their cabbage, but she really meant baggage. Crab legs. No, you can't hold my crab legs. They're mine. They're delicious. Damn it. Uh, pull up, Yagami. Pull up. <laughs> it's like, wow, Yagami is my spirit animal. <laughs> Moving on. I, I think with uh, Kaede's event, friend events, you can just kind of run a distance and then come back. Some, <laughs> some you actually do have to wait, I think, but hers, you can probably just go a, a good distance away. Yeah, you can just blitz them. Yeah. Um, so now she's asking what takeout means. <laughs> the left, right, right, right. Damn it. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I really wanted to pick one of the, the goofy options, but no, I'm going to play it straight. Can you like mess up one of your answers and then like recuperate, I guess, Re or like recover from whatever that negative? I'm not actually sure. I should, uh, I should reload a save sometime and see what happens. Because I'd be interested to see, like, if it just, like, locked you out for 30 minutes or whatever, you know? Right, right. Rather than if it kills, like, that quest line. <laughs> <laughs> Which would have me being, like, feeling very nervous about playing these sorts of things. Yeah. I, I know in, like, the PS1 Yakuza 1, you could, um lock yourself out of quests and thus miss out on like the, f the bonus boss <laughs> anyway with uh kaede's final friend event she's got a non-japanese boyfriend and now she's got someone she can study english with uh i believe they call them gaijins <laughs> so she she's dating uh one of the guests at the hotel which i feel like is a poor idea but you know whatever makes her happy Look, she only works there. She doesn't live there. I know, but neither does her boyfriend. Yes. Don't, don't mind that we went from a uh, reputation two to three with this. I am going to show these probably out of order just because of how I, I structure these videos. So yeah, for uh, for maxing out your friendship with um, shopkeepers, they will offer you uh, new things you can buy. So with this shop, I I think you can get a molten cheese tart now. I think. Well, it's, I, I don't. It's sweet and savory taste is found nowhere else. 